Anyone who's ever had a service job knows it's not easy. Every day brings its own set of challenges and wild stories, and somehow the difficult customers are often the least of your worries. One waitress named Cindy decided to do a good deed after seeing a homeless man struggling. Something about the man caught her attention, and she risked her future to try and help him. The waitress would soon find out he was heeding a secret that would change her life. But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Cindy was working hard to earn a living as a waitress in Canada. Like most young people, she didn't find being a server the most thrilling job. But she knew she had to do what she could to save up for her future. Working in a restaurant meant she could work late shifts and still have time to attend all her classes. She was balancing waitressing with being a full-time student in culinary school. The pay wasn't great, but she earned good tips from her outstanding service with every customer, and that was just about enough to pay rent and cover her tuition. Her boss, the head chef, was tyrannical, and he made things hectic for the servers. But one day when she got the chance to show kindness to someone outside of work, everything changed. One afternoon, Cindy was late for her shift. On her way to work, she came across a homeless man sleeping around the corner from the restaurant. While she was saddened to see him suffering, she kept walking. Each day she took the same route and she noticed he was still there. The waitress felt compelled to do something to help. She didn't have an immediate solution. So she went on with her day, but the poor man stayed in the back of her mind. Cindy's restaurant wasn't just an average diner you'd find on the side of the highway. It was quite the opposite. They had seen some pretty highbrow guests come through their doors and rack up an expensive tab of luxury dishes. It was a highly rated establishment with fancy food and the finest service imaginable. She constantly thought of the man sitting outside her restaurant. The contrast between the lavish luxury inside and the stark poverty outside weighed heavily on her conscience. After walking past him every day, she decided enough was enough. She was tired of seeing people treat him like he was less than human. So she came up with a plan to put the smile back on his face. The plan was simple. Her restaurant was bursting with fresh and delicious ingredients. And they were sure to overorder items sometimes, right? Cindy would just take the ingredients she needed from the restaurant for a nourishing and delicious meal for the man and cook them herself. She knew she had to be careful. There were ease on her at all times, and her eagle eyed boss was always shouting instructions at her fellow servers. Not only that, but the ingredients in the restaurant weren't cheap. It was already risky enough to steal food not to mention the consequences if her boss found out. She could lose her job, or worse, they could call the cops. Cindy couldn't wait any longer. So she waited for the right moment at end of her shift when she heard the chef yelling at the staff as usual. Cindy snuck into the huge freezer without anyone noticing. She frantically looked around for ingredients that she knew the kitchen staff wouldn't notice were missing straight away. And after gathering 20 or so ingredients, she had enough to make a decent meal without bringing too much suspicion. She escaped through the hallway, leaving no evidence behind, or so she thought. All she wanted to do was run home and take a moment to breathe after her eventful shift. Once Cindy got home, she nervously waited to see if her boss would call, or worse, if the cops would somehow appear at her door. She dumped all the ingredients on the kitchen counter and made sure she hadn't dropped anything in amongst all the chaos. Cindy finally had her chance to be creative and do what she knows best, cook. Excitement bubbled up inside of her. Cindy was excited to use her cooking skills and provide someone with a delicious meal made from her heart. Two hours passed and it was finally done. She packed the hot meal into a container and walked back to the street where she always walked past the homeless man. The man looked down at the meal and back up at Cindy with tears welling up in his eyes. Usually people would throw a buck into his cup here and there or toss a candy bar his way. He was in disbelief that someone had shown him such kindness. When Cindy saw how overcome with emotion he was, 
she began to get emotional too. She realized that everything she had risked to make it happen was worthwhile. The man thanked Cindy continuously, and before leaving, she also handed him some cash. But Cindy decided she wasn't done with her kind deed. She hadn't done it with the intention of getting good karma in return. In fact, it was quite the opposite. Cindy offered to make him a warm meal every day for the rest of the week, and he gladly accepted. The man knew she wouldn't be able to cook him warm meals forever, so he enjoyed her meals until he was out of luck. But it wasn't the man's luck that soon ran out. It was Cindy's. After getting accustomed to the new routine of cooking meals for the man, she was interrupted one evening by a knock at her front door. Cindy looked to see who it was, and to her surprise, it was her boss staring angrily back at her. Before she even had the chance to explain herself, her boss uttered the two words she was dreading most. You're fired. And Cindy instantly got emotional. He told her he'd reviewed the security camera footage after discovering the hole in the wall, and he saw her hiding with her bag of stolen ingredients. While Cindy knew in her heart she had done a good deed, ultimately she'd still stolen from the restaurant. And theft is no joke. In Canada, a thief that gets caught can end up with a hefty fine or even spend time behind bars. Despite her good intentions, Cindy was more nervous than ever. She apologized to her boss and closed the door, completely unaware that the following day would change things completely. The next morning, Cindy took a walk to clear her head, and since she took the route, she was most familiar with. She walked past the restaurant she'd been fired from less than 24 hours before. As she peeked through the window, she felt an overwhelming wave of sadness and regret about what she'd done. Cindy had never been more in need of someone to talk to. The man noticed she looked much sadder than usual, so he asked if she was all right. She began to explain the story and before long, he was horrified. The man was deeply understanding and she could tell he looked truly disturbed. He was so grateful for her kindness. And though Cindy was touched by his sympathy, she knew there was really nothing he could do to help. He was so overtaken with anger at the way she'd been dismissed from the job that he went to confront the boss himself. The boss spotted them through the window and stormed across the restaurant, angrily demanding that the pair leave immediately. Neither of them was welcome there anymore. After an argument between the man and the condescending boss, the man's posture changed and he started to laugh. This was no laughing matter. What was he thinking? His tone changed too. You really don't remember who I am anymore, do you? He asked the boss. And before Cindy's boss had a chance to respond, the homeless man began to remove his ragged coat to reveal a pristine suit underneath. He no longer looked like a man who'd been living on the streets and both Cindy and the boss shared the same expression of confusion and amazement. I am not really homeless. I am a food critic and rate the quality of this restaurant's menu and service, he began, met with their puzzled expressions. He explained that he'd come to eat at the restaurant a few weeks ago and the quality had gone steeply downhill. I decided to do something about it, he continued. Last week, I bought shares in this restaurant. It became clear to me that this restaurant isn't managed well, which is why I have become the new owner, he added. Neither Cindy nor the now ex-chef knew what to say. The man then turned to the chef who had turned red with embarrassment and told him his dishes were inedible. And he fired him on the spot. The boss tried to mumble angry words in response, but it was no use. The homeless man turned owner dropped another bombshell when he turned to Cindy and told her he now had a job, opening that desperately needed filling. He told Cindy that the food she'd cooked for him over the past week was delicious, some of the best he'd had for years. And with the mean chef out of the way, he thought Cindy's kindness should be rewarded and that she would be perfect for the job. She was a struggling waitress who dreamed of becoming a chef, and after all her efforts, the opportunity to achieve her goal was being handed right to her. She went from being devastated and unemployed to having her dream job all in the space of one day. Tears streamed down her face as she thanked the kind man profusely, still in shock that this was really happening, 
Cindy made a bold yet risky decision that could have cost her everything, but a small act of kindness for a stranger she didn't even know ended up making her dreams come true. She was a waitress who had big dreams of one day becoming a chef, and now it was finally happening. And ironically, none of this could have happened if she hadn't shown compassion to the homeless man she passed by every day. Her small act of kindness not only changed her life, but also the lives of those who got to taste her delicious creations. It just goes to show that sometimes taking a chance and showing kindness can lead to unexpected and wonderful outcomes.